You there. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. At least I got everyone's attention. That you did. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. The Conclave destroyed a giant hole in the sky. Things aren't looking good. Which is why we're needed. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. No, but if you have one prepared, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. I, uh... <clears throat> There's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. there something you needed is there anything I should know not at present why would Templars break away from the Chantry the order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts not to the extent they should but the Templars have served the Chantry for ages and in that time they've come to take the order's services for granted Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. Now, I may disagree with the Order's actions, but I'm here as proof of that. But I sympathize with their frustrations. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. But I enjoy working with her. How do you like working with Leliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. And I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly, but Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? Our numbers are small, but they suit our needs for the time being. Some Templars have joined us instead of following the Order. They've proven invaluable in training new recruits. I should let you get back to work. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. I don't even want to think about how many lives were lost on that mountaintop. A lot of good men and women didn't make it out of there. 
For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and Maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. I'm still not sure I believe any of this is really happening. If this is all just the Maker winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Need something? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Are you from Ferelden? Ole? Free marches. Born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no. Kirkwall's not that bad. I'm not clear on your line of work. You're a merchant? I'm a businessman. My family has a seat in the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Merchants buy and sell goods. Businessmen buy and sell stores. In my spare time, I manage a spy network, and occasionally, I write books. If you've run a spy network, why is Leliana our spy master? To be honest with you, she's just a better spy master. The truly great ones can keep their distance. They don't get attached to their people. Me, I always wind up babysitting my informants and worrying about their families. We're in better hands with her. How do you and Cassandra know each other? You heard about the Kirkwall Chantry being destroyed? The guy responsible used to be a friend of mine. The Seeker had questions about that, and I had answers. Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca? She's one of a kind. I won her from Paragon Smith Bronca in a game of Wicked Grace. She was such a sore loser. Ran off to the deep roads in a huff, and that was the last anyone saw of her. Who is she named for? I can't tell you. And the reason for that is? Complicated. It's the one story I'll never tell. We just have to leave it at that. Thanks, Varric. No problem. Need something? The Red Lyrium we found at the temple seemed to upset you. My brother Bartrand and I sort of discovered Red Lyrium during an expedition in the Deep Roads. We located an ancient Taig, so old it barely looked dwarven. There was this idol there made of it. Bartrand brought it back to the surface, and, well, everything's gone downhill from there. So what is it? Just another kind of Lyrium? The red stuff is Lyrium like a dragon is a lizard. It's not just a different color. It has a whole host of weirdness all its own. I've written to every mining cast house in Orzammar. No one's seen this stuff before or knows where it came from. What makes it special? Regular lyrium can mess you up pretty badly, but you have to ingest it for that to happen. Red lyrium messes with your mind when you're just near the stuff. You hear singing, get violent, paranoid, and then... It does creepy shit, makes things float, brings statues to life. I've had a few alchemists studying it in Kirkwall, in shifts. Why do you have Red Lyrium? My brother kept a sliver when he sold it. I'm pretty sure he held on to it because it was already talking to him. That little shard drove him mad. I had him taken to a sanitarium and eventually found the fragment in his house. We brought the shit to the surface, Bartrand and I. I wanted to find out if there was a way to shut it up. So far, it looks like the answer is no. If Red Lyrium is as dangerous as you say, why'd you keep it? I've heard that shit singing to me. I know better than anyone how bad it is. 
In Orzammar, miners keep regular non-crazy raw lyrium in special lead-lined containers. Actually, it's a huge secret how they're constructed. Keep surface folk from horning in on the lyrium trade. I pulled a lot of strings and got a smith to build me four of them nested inside each other. Nobody gets to study it up close for more than an hour, and they have to wait a week between shifts. I think that's enough on Red Lyrium. Yeah, not really my favorite subject. Need something? I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. What happened to the mage who destroyed the Kirkwall Chantry? The book never said. He fled Kirkwall with the mages from the Circle. Stayed with them a while. But he had to move on. Somehow a lot of mages blamed him for making them live as fugitives. I don't know where he is now, and I don't want to know. There's no way Hawk really could have killed the Arishok. It would have started a war with the Kunari. I was told later that the Kunari disavowed his actions. Apparently the Arishok didn't get permission before he attacked Kirkwall and the Kuhn didn't want another exalted march. When they finally sent a ship to haul the Red Dreadnought away, they just said, We will never speak of this again. As far as I can tell, that's the Kuhn's version of an apology. Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and Templars, so far. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Isabella went back to the raiders, She's calling herself an admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. Sebastian went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring all sorts of people there. Hawk's brother Carver is still in the free marches, helping the Kirkwall guard keep order. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. So Leliana brought me in to set up a tavern. Nothing fancy, but it's safer for the soldiers than looking for trouble in some village. You said Leliana asked you to run an Inquisition tavern. How did you meet? Dumb luck, mainly. I managed an inn back in Denrim. When I heard interesting gossip, I'd pass word to Leliana. Sometimes it was helpful. She asked if I wanted to own my own tavern, and I said yes. I didn't realize she meant this. What can you tell me about this area? Adan is Haven's apothecary. He's been making potions and tending to the wounded as best he can. Harris is the Inquisition smith. Whatever he can make you, Thren the quartermaster can probably find. And for anything fancier, you can try buying from Segris. His prices aren't too high. Yet. Oh, there's also Minave. She studies beasts and things, as I understand. Farewell. Goodbye. <laughs> 